This tiny house it measures uh, 48 feet in length, uh, eight and a half wide and uh, about 13 and a half high. It's been built uh, out of a shipping container. And the metal stud, studs wall um, was built outside the original container to maximize the room in the inside. The um, exterior has been done with um, um, special uh, fiberglass uh, sheer rock panels and then insulated, sealed uh, with a couple of coats uh, and uh, then put a stucco on it so now it needs to be painted this is a french door going to the bedroom the idea was to have a, a wood deck here in the back with a, a jacuzzi laying flush with the um, deck since uh, uh, the floor is about four feet off the ground so <clears throat> all of this space underneath would be uh, some sort of a basement where you, you can put um, the laundry um, and the service electric panel and water heater all of these appliances we go down here also to keep the inside cleaner and more beautiful. Only this part uh, has been uh, um, colored with a um, dry it product that is um, a little uh, rubber like. Um, it has been moved uh, a couple of times but never used. So now over time there are these uh, cracks that are more like cosmetic than anything else and some chipping and uh, some work uh, has not been uh, completed because it was going to be hauled somewhere else and uh, finish everything at a later date. Then the inside is just over eight feet wide. This one is the entrance. Uh, mosaic, uh, Roman columns supporting this beam, which is hollow. And so you can put some uh, parts uh, with uh, flowers or a ivy coming down and you have um, sconces all the lights are led lights are dimmable so this area <clears throat> was uh, for a, um, a statue water fountain or you can use um, put a piece of furniture or even a desk if you want to make it more uh, functional and um, be like some sort of an office. Or you can do the same over here. This space is about five feet um, wide. You have a sofa. So this one is the main uh, um, living area. It's about um, 27 feet uh, long. You have a very quiet um, heater. There is no AC because uh, it was supposed to go in, in an area where you don't need AC. And then the kitchen, the full size double sink and a stove with range that works with uh, propane or natural gas. It's all a um, custom-made uh, cabinetry 
exhausted from the fan, the hood fan. Everything has a soft close. And um, it's late. Backsplash, all granite, countertop, and also around the windows. There is a lot of uh, customization here and attention to details. This is all a uh, custom made drapery and, and nine foot ceiling. And here is the bedroom, which is about 13 by again, uh, eight. Uh, feet and two inches, I think, uh, wide. So this one is a French sliding door. Some more sconces, a recessed ceiling with uh, some more lightings and a closet. And this door goes into the bathroom. It's a toilet. It's not being installed yet. Uh, it's, um, and some of the other plumbing under the sinks had to be installed. Uh, and it was going to be done uh, on the final resting site to avoid any possible leak. And then this big crown has um, LED lights in it, which are hidden. So you just see um, the light indirectly. And um, you have here you know, the remote for the lights. Again, like granite countertop, a big uh, vanity. Shower with also another mosaic and all uh, porcelain tiles. So, this is a little tour of this one of a kind tiny house.